This is a bit of a warning for Brits and anybody else on a uh, UK driving license. Um, from the 8th of June, there's going to be a change to how you can hire a car. If you're hiring a car normally, you just take your driving license along and maybe your passport, and that would be you. But now, um, due to the UK with its pearl of wisdom and ideas, has decided to add a computerized system to everything. Um, it basically, you'll have to log on to the DVLA website, um, and to log on, you're going to need to have with you your postcode, your driving license number, and your national insurance number. <clears throat> when you do this, it will generate a code that you're going to need to give to the car hire companies uh, for when you hire a vehicle. Now the other downside of this being is that the code is only valid for 72 hours. So if you were like me that went all the way over to the Philippines from Paris and then come back a week later, you would have to generate another code if you were hiring a car in France. So be aware of this because it's obviously going to be another little stealth sting in the tail for um, the UK government in some way. I'm sure they're profiteering out of it somewhere. Um, but most people are not aware of this, which is why I'm putting this YouTube video together. Uh, if you're unsure, go to the DVLA website, but bear in mind the date that this comes into force is the 8th of June. Um, and it's only for people hiring cars um, while in Europe, or vehicles. I'll say vehicles, because it could be a transit van, it could be anything. Um, but basically, if you need your driving license, you're going to need to have this in place. Um, I'm not sure why they're doing it. I mean, I can understand if somebody's got a uh, expired driving license um, or they've got some points on their license that they haven't updated. Uh, or, sorry, maybe they've got points that they don't actually put onto the system. They don't notify the, the car company. Whatever it is, be aware. Um, don't get stuck, you know, think you'll put, turn up the airport, just hire a car, because you're not going to be able to do it. Um, expecting a lot of companies not to be familiar with it, especially since this is an UK UK thing. Um, it's not going to be that bothered. Like the Philippines, I doubt, would even care less. Um, but in the EU, you might find that big companies like Hertz and whatever are going to uh, enforce it. Um, so, there you go.